Welcome back, YouTubers. Well, today I'm working on uh, the old Dynamark. I'm, I'm actually not really working on it, but I'm just going to see if I can get it started. It's been about a year probably since uh, anything's been done with it. It's just been sitting and it's been sitting outside, which I don't necessarily like, but I just don't have room for it in the garage. Uh, story on the old Dynamark. We went to an auction one time. My son was about 12 years old back then, if I remember right, which he's 19 now. And uh, they had a lot of stuff, a lot of equipment, and this was one of the items that they had. And it sat over with some other lawnmowers, newer lawnmowers, and it had a flat tire on the front. The tire was off the rim. And when it came time to bid on it, uh, nobody would bid on it and my son was really interested in it so I offered up a $20 bid nobody countered I mean nobody was interested in it they just thought it was too old and with that flat tire they didn't want to deal with it so I got it for $20 uh, just so happened you know we'd brought the trailer in case we bought something and I had an air tank with us we set the front end up on a block and pulled the tire out aired it up within just a few minutes. Rolled it up onto the trailer and brought her home. Uh, got it home and had it running within I think about a half hour. And we've had it ever since. There's been you know, just a few issues like the bushing and the steering. We had to do some work on it because the steering started slipping a little bit. But really, we've done nothing to it. it nothing major especially. And uh, it's an eight horse Briggs, single cylinder, 36 inch cut. Uh, it does have electric start, but the battery is long shot and so and for years We didn't even have a battery in it and my son even when he was you know like I said 12 13 he could fire it up and it would start first pull back then well, it it hasn't been started for almost a year and uh, so I put some gas in it got my vintage keychain that he always liked to use with it. Let's see what happens. Of course, it's got the old wrap the rope pull start on it. None of that. None of that automated spring return stuff for us. Not bad for setting outdoors for a year. Let's try it again. Okay. Well... What it sounds like is probably a little bit of moisture got in the gas tank and it's down in the carburetor. You know, no big deal. I'll just take the bowl off, drain the carburetor. Alright, I'm back. Well, I went and grabbed a wrench, uh, took the bowl off the bottom of the carburetor, which on this engine, um, your main, your main metering jet also the body of it holds the bowl on the carburetor so take a half inch wrench you just unscrew the whole thing i literally took the bowl dumped it as the fuel was running out put it right back on screwed it right back together uh same fuel that was in it didn't do anything with the gas tank let's see what happens i've already turned the choke on Sounds like we've still got probably some up in the jet. May have to take the air cleaner off and when it starts, stick my hand on there and choke it real hard and that'll 
usually that'll suck the water up out of the jet because it, it'll get in the orifice, sit in there uh, between the needle and the orifice, and the gasoline literally has to go around that little uh, dot of water to get in there. You have to get that out of there, blow it out with compressed air, or get the engine to suck it out of there. That's what it's acting like. So let me remove that air cleaner and see if we can uh, get it to where it'll stay running because right now it's only running with the choke on. I'll be right back. Okay, air filter's off, which, by the way, it could stand to be cleaned. I also noticed that the choke was not completely closing all the way. So I made a minor adjustment on the throttle linkage. I just loosened the screw, moved it up just a hair, tightened it back up. But uh, I'll give her a pull on the rope. If she starts up, which I'm pretty sure she will, then I'll hand choke the top of the carburetor. And uh, I'll, I'll choke it hard, pull my hand away, let it run. It'll build back up, usually. Choke it again. And us usually... Uh, on these and even the little push mowers, if you do that, that'll clear that debris or clear that water out of your jet or whatever passage it's in. So let's see if that helps. Okay, well I didn't get the choke open fast enough. Let's see if she'll start again. seem to do the trick. Let's see if she'll start up without the choke and run. Okay. One more time, one more time. May have to choke it. We've also never changed the spark plug. I'm sure we've cleaned it, gapped it, but we've never changed it. Okay. Well, obviously it's still got some crud in it. Um, I'm sure if I choked it real hard, put the air cleaner back on, I could keep it running. But probably what I will do is uh, pull the jet screws out, blow some air in there, and that should fix it. Uh, but anyway, guys, you know, like I said, $20. Don't be afraid to get some of this old equipment and tinker with it. If there's not somebody to show you how to work on it, there's all kinds of videos. You know, it's kind of what I'm trying to do here is just show you a few things like the trick with the carburetor. Um, works, works pretty good with uh, push mowers a lot of times. They've got a uh, they've got a gas tank, carburetor on top of the gas tank. Then there's a 
depression made into the top of the gas tank and it pulls as the engine runs there's a little diaphragm fuel pump that pulls fuel from the bottom of the gas tank and puts it in that depression and uh, sometimes when they get completely uh, the gas gets completely evaporated you can pull and pull and pull and you can't get it to start uh, you can you know you can take that carburetor off the tank fill that little cup full of fuel put it back together and it'll fire up but if you've ever seen that lawnmower the annoying one your neighbor has that goes in, 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 you know and he just keeps on mowing with it because he don't know any better it's probably got water in the jet and that's one of the ways to fix it you pull the air cleaner off let it rev up choke the hell out of it let it rev back up and you'd be surprised how easy it is to fix that and if you follow up with a little bit of heat uh, fuel injector cleaner even uh, even a cap full of rubbing alcohol in a push mower will help anyway guys uh, I'm gonna push this one off to the back burner because I have to go put a carburetor on an old Ford 4000 tractor and it's for another person this is sitting here I can always work on it later so Thanks for watching, guys.